Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Tight Cycling. Welcome back to my channel. We are doing a crit race today. Um, this is the Swift Crit Club on the Champs Elysees. And um, yeah, so this, I'm not quite sure. I think it's about 15k or so. Um, with uh, 80 vertical meters, something like this. Um, so it should be fast. Luckily, I realized that I was on the wrong bike. I still had the climbing bike from yesterday, but now changed to the Tron. So hopefully this will help. Anyways, I will set up everything and then I will see you back in a second. All right, just some time to get tracking on this. Again, we will probably just try to stay in the middle of the pack and then go for a sprint because my legs are actually quite toast. I know I always say this, but I really mean it. So, hey, John. I see you are sprinting out of the gate as always. Well done. I will try to uh, stick with you guys. So let's see what we can do here. As always, um, the plan is to find a good rhythm, tighten the pack, go for a sprint. But uh, hopefully there will be no one like the guy up front who is, you know, getting away. Fancy burning all of my matches. So let's just wait for the group. If the guy up front can really pull five, six watts for the whole time, then there's no, no need to try to follow him, anyways because he's just way too strong. So let's just try to stay in this group. That's why I need to pay a little attention to the, to the course, because to be honest, I wrote on this one before, but I have no, uh, memories of you know where the where the the climbs are i think there must be some because we are supposed to do like 70 80 vertical vertical so it must come somewhere yeah the guy up front still putting in four four and a half five watts Who knows, you might get disqualified later. We'll see. Okay, let's just enjoy this, right? Oh yeah, one more thing, sorry. So John, the guy with the disc wheel, very nice guy. He, um, he commented on some of my rides in a very nice, honest, open way. So, yeah, never met him, but I really like him. Also, L. Walker. Uh, we just started following each other. No, I want to say yesterday. So, um, on paper, he looks strong. So we'll try to keep an eye on him. Haven't really had a chance to look at all the other riders in their data. 
But as always, we'll try to wing it. All right, just about to finish the lead in, and then it's uh, two laps. About by then, 13 and a half K left. So let's see what we can do. This is the steamroller, which makes the um, the couples flattens the couples and makes it a slightly smoother ride. So there's no benefit to it on asphalt, but there is on Couples. So we'll do that a little bit later. long like two, three, four percent hate it
day swifter i see you you seem to have me marked because most of the time you are just right behind me uh i really i take that as a compliment um so let's see what we can do about it later for now Let's just enjoy this right. Little 10k to go. The pace is not too bad, it's actually quite quite chill. Which makes me hopeful for the final sprint. Oh we should also pay attention to that. So okay. The finish banner is on the other side. So, yeah, let's just try to pay attention. You see, it's like a kicker before or so. and John both went for the disc wheel and Mr. and Mrs. Dunn as well which makes me believe that they're the ones with the uh, with Massa Sprint already considering um, keeping the the draft because that would really help for the sprint so we have well we have two more options to pick something up um, uh, yeah Let's just hope one of those is going to be a draft because <clears throat> then I will use this one, uh, saving a couple of words, which hopefully will also help with a finish. Group is 
Mexico, 11 strong. Yeah, the one guy, the Korean guy is up front. 23 seconds ahead of us. No way of catching him or her. <clears throat> so let's just see how far to the finish line it is here from this little bend. So we go back onto the main road. Or on the straight. Because that would be good to know. I think my sprint is probably good for 150, 200 meters. But not much more. Okay, nine four. Golden sun. Thunder expose me. Come lay your weakness down. Yeah, it actually looks quite close, but it's not. We get the draft, so we will try to hide in the group until the finish, unless there's an attack and we need to close the gap, then we'll use the power up and hope for another draft on the other side. It looks like a Korean guy left. Interesting.
to get our game face on two kilometers to go so two left turns and then back on the opposite side on of the square here and then joining again the main road the straight
500 meters Hundred meters, hotness come in. Set. All right, guys. So we came second um, behind El Walker. Uh, yeah, it was a very good sprint. I don't think that I timed it correctly, but he was very strong. So no, no, no bitching here. No, no excuses made. Uh, just, just better. End of story. I think I could have done a little bit better. Uh, if I had stuck with him a little earlier because uh, I think he was trying to stay on my wheel and I tried to stay on his and then there was a little gap to the group in front not much but like three four five meters and uh, yeah of course I wanted him to close it and it was just when we turned onto the Champs Elysees, onto the straight, and he essentially went for a, yeah, a followed sprint from the get-go, and that I did not expect. Although I should have known it was only, I think, 300 meters or so. Yeah, you probably just go for it, but I would have thought that he would accelerate to get into the group, Slow down just a little bit and then kick for the last, I don't know, 150 meters. But uh, the way he did it was perfect because this allowing me uh, to get close enough to him. There was always like a gap. Uh, yeah, I have to really, uh, really have a look at the video and see what uh, happened. But he essentially came in with uh, two tenths of a second ahead of us, which is significant at the speeds that, that we were doing, most likely beyond 60, 65, is what my guess would be. Um, so yeah, definitely it was not uh, very close, um, but yeah, well, well done. I, I really like when it comes down to those sprints and uh, because I think this is probably my best feature um, for all the others in the group if you had just you know put in a real deep dig after going through the underpass uh, of I don't know putting putting forwards per kilo in for half a minute I would have been done so uh, thanks that you didn't that really helped me um, yeah but really great racing uh, not unhappy but of course you always try to be uh, to be first to to win a race but um, yeah today it was not meant to be but we did come in second so that's not too bad I think 18 starters there was one who actually went up front uh, and then he left or got uh, disqualified i don't know what happened to him but um yeah um yeah great race so walker well done you get a target on your back now so whenever 
we start in the same race again, I will try to keep an even closer eye on you. Uh, but yeah, great sprint, great timing. Uh, well done. John, I saw you put in some deep digs on the, on the flat. And I was actually thinking, man, is he going to time trial this? <laughs> Thank God he didn't. Because, yeah, that would have completely killed me. But, um, yeah, you gave a fantastic lead out. But also you closed a couple of gaps. So that was really, really nice. So thanks for that. And, uh, yeah, I hope to race with you again. It seems now that I'm back in three for now. Until my numbers uh, probably for five minutes go again beyond, um, um, beyond the 2.4 watts per kilo. Uh, on average over the last 90 days but uh, hopefully we'll have some chances to uh, riding and racing together again anyways um, i will put in the uh, official results from swift power and from the swift racing app i will put them in here and afterwards i will put the racing stat as always if you have any recommendations or you saw something that i did wrong or uh, choice of bike seems like maybe the uh, the disc wheel bike would have been a better choice who knows let me know what you think and uh, so um yeah the race itself was not too fast so yeah i seven out of ten i want to say on a tight scale uh, tight for those who don't know stands for this is gonna hurt tremendously and today it was maybe a seven out of ten so um yeah uh with that i just uh yeah say my goodbyes say uh i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like or maybe even subscribe it doesn't cost a thing and uh, maybe turn on notifications so this way you'll get a notification every time that i upload something new which should happen a couple of times per, um, per week um yeah and now i'll just leave you with my motto or our motto which is ride hard have fun tight so tight cycling out and i will see you in the next video take care for now bye bye